and today I wanted to talk about the first step in creating an autistic friendly workplace. So the first step, the very first step that you can do if you are an organization wanting to create a culture that is autism friendly within your workplace is education. Simple education. Bring in an autistic person to do your education and to educate about autism and autistic people in your workplace. You need someone to come in and help people who don't have experience with autism understand autistic people and to help break down uh, some of the confusion, misunderstandings, and stigma. Um, you know, there are, you know, little things that autistic people do that are often misunderstood. Um, you know, say your autistic person in your workplace is um, sitting alone at lunch and is not sitting with their, their colleagues. It, it, you know, their colleagues might interpret that as, oh, this person just doesn't like us and they don't ever want to hang out with us at lunch. But, you know, reality, you know, when I do that, it's because I need my lunch break to actually be a break so I can recover and recenter myself. And I have to do that alone. I can't do that with other people around. And so I go on my own if I've been with people all day the first chance I get to get a break, I'm like, I'm gone, I'm out of there. So there's those kinds of misunderstandings. Um, autistic people regulate their environment and their emotions by stimming. And so, you know, say an autistic person might be sitting in their chair rocking, uh, they might be humming or um, chewing on something while they're typing, while they're working, they're just chewing, 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 chewing. Um, or they're holding like a little stuffed animal or they've got, you know, just something that, you know, they've got things that other adults may look at and say, this is really childish. This is not professional. Why is this in the workplace? You know, because there's that stigma um, that these things are childish, um, but these items, you know, for an autistic person help to regulate. Uh, and so not being ashamed of having things around you and being able to do things that make your life more comfortable uh, is really important. Um, but it doesn't make sense if you don't have someone to come in and explain uh, autism and autistic, the autistic experience and autistic culture. Uh, so that, that's my, my recommendation is you know, if you really want to start to create a workplace that is autism friendly is start with education. Alrighty, thank you so much. Uh, I will talk to you.